Hi everyone, welcome to technology class. I hope you are well and enjoying your day. Today, we are going to put to use a lot of things that we've already learned. The first thing is navigating the internet to use a program to help us learn how to keyboard properly. Many of you have already done this. We've done it in class in most of our classes. Not all, I haven't gotten to it with everyone yet, but um, you'll be able to do it now once we go through this. The second thing we're going to do is use our usernames and passwords and keeping them private in order to save our work and be able to continue on. So uh, let's get started. Here we are in Google Classroom and you'll notice that I have lots of classes in my Google Classroom, probably a lot more than you do, but you can have as many as you need. I want to show you up at the top of our screen, there are tabs. This is one tab and this is another. You can see I have two tabs open. One is my email and my second is classes for Google Classroom. Now, instead of going to my address bar and going to a new site that way, what I want to do is open a new tab. To open a new tab, I go to the plus sign where it says new tab when I hover over the plus sign and I press it. This will give me a new tab. This helps me instead of having to reopen pages over and over, I can easily use my tabs to flip back and forth to where I want to be. So I can check my email, my classes, whatever else I need to do. So in my new tab, you'll notice that automatically my cursor is blinking in the address bar. The address bar is where you type the URL or the address of the site you want to go to. The site we're going to today is called typing.com. The URL is T-Y-P-I-N-G dot C-O-M. Now, you can see that once I start typing my URL, suggestions come up. And yes, I can use my mouse and click on one of them. However, for our purposes, I prefer that you get used to typing the URL. There's several reasons for this. One is because in school, we use a shared computer and you might be sharing a computer with someone else at, school, at home also. So if somebody else types something that was close to what you wanted in the URL, but made a mistake, you'll get to the wrong place if you just click on theirs. The other thing is that typing URLs is necessary sometime, so it's a good practice. So after you type typing.com, you're going to press the enter key. This is going to take you to the home page or the landing page for typing.com. Now, at the top right of the screen, you'll see two buttons. One is green and it says teacher login. The second one is blue and it says student login. All of us are students, so we're going to click on student login. This takes you to the student login page and you can use a username and password and type it in, but typing.com has helped and partnered with Google so that we can use our Google login instead. This makes it a lot easier. So since we're already in Google Classroom, all we have to do is go to Login with Google. I click on that button. Now, this is gonna take me directly to my account. If you've never logged into Google, I'm sorry, into typing.com before, the first time that you do it, you're gonna get a a pop-up message that asks you to verify your Google account. And this is good. It only does it the first time. It just wants to make sure that it's connecting the correct typing.com address and account for you, for your Google account. So you only have to do that once. So now we're at typing.com. Typing.com is gonna teach us how to use the keyboard properly. The goal is to teach your fingers and your eyes and your brain to work together so that as soon as you know you want to type a certain letter, your finger is going to do it without really needing to look for them. You're going to memorize the keyboard. You're going to practice. 
Typing.com's homepage, this is yours, you'll see at the top there's some tabs. There's lessons, tests, games, achievements, and themes. And your name is right at the end here. You can see that's your account. So just always make sure that it, you're in your account and it'll have your first name on there. So under lessons, that's where we're going to stay for a while. Sometimes we'll take tests and the games are fun, but a word of caution about the games. The games can be very frustrating if you don't know where the keys are. So it's better to start practicing with the lessons and then as you get more confidence and start to know the keyboard better, then play the games. So under lessons, that's where we are now. It says getting started and you'll see these are the levels on the left. There's beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And then there's some other ones down here as well. We're going to start. When you log in the first time, your button here, this yellow button, is going to say start. Mine says resume because I've already started the program. Once you get started, then it'll say resume. So all the work you've done already will be saved for you. So you don't have to start over every time. But for today, I'm going to go back to the very beginning to show you what it's going to look like. So I'm going to click on Let's Get Started. And most of the lessons start out with a video. You'll watch the video. You'll need to either have speakers or um, headphones in order to be able to listen to the videos. Most of them are pretty short. This one's only about a minute long. I'm not going to play it now. You're going to watch that on your own. So after you watch the video, I could skip this here if I want. It says skip video, but you can watch it. And I'll come up with the first lesson. Now notice that there's a keyboard and there's hands there. The hands on the keyboard are showing you where your finger should be. That's the home row. And it's telling you that your right index finger needs to be on the letter J. Make sure your fingers are in the right spot. And it says, howdy. Use your right index finger to type the J key. So I'm going to do that. And now it says you found it. Remember where that J key is because now we're going to practice it. And then it tells you to press enter to begin. So here are some J's and they want us to practice this. So let's do this. J, 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 and J. It shows me that I've done it correctly. And after each screen, it'll give me a score information. It says my speed for this screen was 24 words per minute with 100% accuracy. Right now, we are not concerned with the speed at all. What we want to do is improve our accuracy. Accuracy means that we are typing the correct letters in the correct order, and we have the right characters, the spacing, the punctuation marks. We have all that correct. That's accuracy. Accuracy is much more important than speed because if you are typing quickly, but your letters are incorrect and the information doesn't make any sense, you're not doing a good job. You want to be accurate and that's much more important. So don't worry about speed right now. That'll come with time and practice. Once you look at this, you could see the stars you receive. Then you go on to the next screen. You could press the continue button or press enter and it'll take you to the next lesson. This next lesson is the letter F. You'll continue on doing lessons for as long as you want to at a given time. Now, when you get to the end of your session and it's time to stop, your information will all be saved. But you have to make sure in order to keep your information safe that you log out or sign out of typing.com. So what you're going to do is when you're done, you're going to go up to this blue stripe at the top. And all the way to the left, it says typing.com. There's an arrow. Click on that. And this will bring you back to your homepage. You'll see a recap of what you've done. You know where you left off. And up here on this thick blue line, remember we saw our name at the top. 
when you put your mouse over the little arrow to the right of your name, you'll see account settings and log out. Click log out. That means that you are safely out of typing.com and your account is locked. Nobody else can get into it now. So when you're done that, you can click on the tab X, close that tab. We're back in Google Classroom. Now, either you can go back to your classroom and do another assignment, or you can go to the account settings and sign out here. That's up to you. Okay. I hope you found this informative and that you enjoy working with typing.com. Now that we are done, have fun practicing and have a great week.